<clears throat> All right, hello everybody. I wanted to go over this and make this a very like center point of the conversation because I've said it in passing that we do need government for a lot of different reasons. And before I was an anti-government activist um, demonizing the different agencies because I had a lot of issues going on as far as my health and I didn't know who else to blame because I didn't know how to blame myself because I didn't know that I was responsible until I started doing my Jilly Juice protocol and realized that I was wholly responsible for my health and then saw the major amazing benefits, hey Edith Romero, to where I can now look at balance. And I understand there is a role for everything. No matter what, positive or negative, there is a role for everything. And so yes, I still have a lot of people on my Facebook that are still part of the conspiracy world. Hey, Ibika, that are still part of the anarchist world. Yes, I did go to, in Portugal, to go speak at uh, Sasha Day Games um, Infinite Man Summit, and that's great. You know, he's trying to help and guide a bunch of young people into making wonderful choices for their life. And I love being a part of that, and that's amazing. And he has a lot of different people who participate. A lot of them are anti-government activists who are anarchists, and nothing is wrong with that. However, we have to understand that there has to be a balance. Because <clears throat> what happens is when somebody is out of control, when someone doesn't understand their body, or they are in a situation where they don't have control of the situation, guess who they have to call? They're not gonna call their gang of people. Everybody has different lives. Not everybody's equipped to deal with someone that's very mutated, okay? So who do they call? They call the police. When they're dealing with something that is out of their control, they don't take you know, the law in their own hands and do vigilanteism, because that's what the government is trying to stop is vigilanteism because we have mutated people that don't know right from wrong and they'll work from their emotions and think that someone is an enemy when they're not and they will act on their emotions. And if we allow people to act on their emotions, not from due process and not from a very logical standpoint, we have chaos and anarchy. And so when I'm seeing that uh, people are passing around all these articles, how Dr. C or how that guy Nipsey, whatever his name is, was off by the government. I'm like, where are you getting this information? What what are you doing? And so I, yeah, I did put on somebody's, you know, people's walls yesterday. Like I was taking my YouTube video about Dr. CB and putting it on people's walls. And they're like, what? You used to be an anarchist or you used to be an anti-government. Oh no, I've since changed. I've changed my tune on a lot of things. Unfortunately, I've lived my changes on publicly so people are utilizing what I said two years ago against me but that's okay that's just the consequences when you deal with research publicly people are going to take what you used to say and hold it against you as if it was the same thought process that I have today and no I've changed a lot since Dr. Phil so when someone says hey you believe in government that government is like you believe in a centralized government you believe in having government you believe in having this I'm like yeah because we have people that don't know Laws, they don't, they, they, they need somebody to help them because they don't know. Okay? Yes. Now, if you trigger government, it's because you don't know. If you don't trigger government, and you know it takes a certain amount of law and order to keep things peaceful and calm so you can go to work every day and make your money and feed your family, okay? If you keep law and order, you keep life, okay? So, you know, we have people that don't know and so they need to have somebody help them out. <clears throat> and it's usually a government official of some sort. Okay? You know, they can go to their friends and go to the internet. But when, 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 when push comes to shove, people will go to a higher authority. We, we, it happens out there in the religious world. They don't want People don't want to go to themselves. They go to a higher authority, whether it's God, whether it's their pastor, whether it's their rabbi, whether it's their spiritual advisor, whatever, it's always a, um, a natural thing that when you feel you're at a loss and you feel like you have nowhere else to turn, you go to a higher authority to then give you some kind of perspective on the situation so then you can make the right decision. Okay? So, yes, I won't trigger government because I will always know what the laws are of my land. If the laws are unjust, the system will counter it the system keeps itself in balance because people ultimately want to live. Nobody wants to die right now or tomorrow, but we have to have some kind of 
I would say, um, countering force against people who are vastly mutated, so mutated that where they make their own decisions and they take the law in their hands and we have to hold them accountable, okay? We have a due process system. It's called the justice system. It's not perfect. There are people that are corrupt that do get away with murder and all this stuff, but for the most part, it works. And I wouldn't trade it for the world. If you can find a way to where you don't have to trigger government, good, so be it. Make sure that you know you know how the law works in your world. If you don't want to go to public school, then go get homeschooled. Find all of the different things that you have to do to get your kid homeschooled. Okay, you don't have to have your kid go to a gladiator classroom that we see in some schools out there. Okay, you can, if you truly have the resources, go teach your kid at home. But there are some people that, that don't want to do that. Some people that they can't do that. So they have to rely on the government to teach their children. Okay, we have a society where we have lights and we have cars, we have insurance, and we have, you know, health practitioners for people that don't want to take care of their body on their own and that if if they do decide to take care of their body on their own and then they and then something happens and they're they don't know where to turn at least it's a backup the government is a backup just in case you feel like you have no other choice okay anyone that takes an extreme and says okay i'm anti-government 100 percent. there should be no government you are mutated because guess what those that say that they're anarchists and they say, oh, yeah, government sucks, will be the first to call up a doctor to deal with their husband or wife or themselves when they get into a jam when it comes to their health. And guess who runs the hospitals? The government runs and regulates all of the medical community. Okay? So, you know, anyone that claims that they're an anarchist or that they're anti-government, I'm sorry, but you would not be able to survive out there really off-grid without any kind of modern conveniences at all, you do rely on a centralized system to keep the peace. So that way you can go and spew your anti-government, you know, stuff all over the internet. Okay. Which is regulated by the government in some way. Because you don't want people to come into your house. If they don't like what you have to say, you don't want people to come into your house and be and, and doing lynching. Those were back in the days of the 1800s when they were lynching people because they didn't like their skin color. We're not trying to revert that back. We're not trying to revert back to those times again. Do we really want to go back there? No. We want to have a peaceful, civilized society where we can actually have a conversation without people going to arms or going to fights to then get their point across. We're not caveman, but we're heading towards that. And if you are trying to eradicate government out of your life, you're headed towards the caveman days. It's like life right now is going full circle. So the more mutated you are, the less you're going to see balance and you're going to take the extremes. And right now we have a lot of anti-government people who are taking major extremes. We have people who are pro-government who are, who are mainstreamers that don't like the jelly juice, are very mutated, go to extremes. Because they're no different than, than those out there that are trying to lynch somebody or trying to lynch the government for something that they never really did, really. I mean, they, they may have because they're going through research. But nobody is looking at due process. Nobody is looking at, hey, how do we substantiate these claims that we're making? Yeah, I, I don't doubt that there are a lot of experiments that were done on human population, animals and humans, you know, the 5G stuff. They had to experiment. We ha For us to have these modern conveniences, somebody had to be experimented upon. I don't love it. No, believe me. But it, it, it happened. Maybe it had to happen. I don't know how else we'd figure out all of this modern stuff to give you guys the cures that you're looking for because we're so mutated without doing some kind of experimentation on the population in some way. Now, with more with all the experiments that are going on, because they're still going to roll out new technology, they're going to roll out you know microchips and roll out all this stuff. You have a way to counter those types of experiments that may be happening that out of your control. Let's say the chemtrails. Let's say the five G. Okay, you know, unless they're putting you in a gas chamber naked, you have every recourse in the world, every recourse, but you have to understand science and you have to understand chemistry and balance. But the, the, but the, the government as well as um, biotech is not going to stop experimentation until you guys get your, get your hormones well balanced, get your yeast well balanced, get your antibodies well balanced. 
It's not going to stop because we have a mutated public. We have people who are vigilantes, like that, that kid that caught this one person uh, um, harming a child. He went, and I don't know if he killed him or he beat him up. But people were like, hey, you know, he should go free because he was harming a child. And yeah, that sucks that he was harming a child, but there's a process that we have to go through. We cannot take the law in our hands because there are some people that will think that someone who's doing actually good is doing bad based upon their belief, not based upon science or based upon the law, but on a belief, and they go and act upon a belief. And we can't let our society go in that direction because that would mean that all the Islams and all the Christians and all the Jews would then be in somebody's crosshairs. Do you really want to go to that point where we take the law in our hands because we don't agree with something regardless of what it is? No, we want we have a system that has due process. We cannot go back to the caveman days, but we're heading to the caveman days because of all of our belief systems. And back in the Roman times, they were totally like decimating and genociding the Christians. Okay? The Christians were being genocided. Okay? You know, when people are attacking the gay population, physically, we, we can't let our society get to that point where we're attacking someone that we don't agree with, literally and physically and figuratively. We have to go through a due process, a specific process that will then say, okay, based upon science and public opinion and the law, is this person now responsible for this, this, and this? And that's why Monsanto had to go through that due process, but he gave the jury, they gave the jury the power to make that decision. And then guess what? It's going to now, it's going to basically, you know, shoot people in the foot that are like anti-vaxxers as well as pro-vaxxers too. I'm waiting for that legislation to where they're saying that um, if you're sick and they see that you're sick and you're not vaccinated. I mean, I'm trying to figure out how they're going to enforce it, but they, it'll it'll get enforced <clears throat> because we have very mutated people that are mutating disease out there and people are getting sick and there's outbreaks all over the place. I mean, right now you're seeing the people who have the measles mutate the measles. And so now you have a different strain in the population. So yeah, you have 24 different strains according to the vaccines, but there's probably like 30 or 40 or 50 strains already being mutated with all of these outbreaks. So yeah, we're going to head towards a, a time where you have to be vaccinated with the measles. You have to show antibodies, proof of antibodies. And if you are sick, you have to be quarantined. And if you're not, and if you break your quarantine, then you get somebody sick. Yes, litigation can be held against you. And then yes, the thing with Alex Jones and him bullying people to where someone is a result, where someone died as a result of his bullying, could he be indirectly responsible, like manslaughter? And then we're seeing people who are bullying on the internet with all of their articles. And now we're seeing, you know, that that there, there could be adverse you know, um, actions against anyone that, that, that makes claims that is harming a person. And so you have to prove damages, but yes, yeah, slander is damages when you're accusing someone of somebody's death, that is a damage. Okay. So we have a justice system and we have due process for a reason. We have a government for a reason. And so you take any kind of extreme where, yeah, we don't want to have any centralized law or something, then you are mutated because you don't even want to take care of your own body. You don't even know that your body has its own centralized law and you keep violating the laws of your body by taking all these antibiotics and completely just, you know, discounting that your body has its own governmental system that you're trying to allow, you know, demonize in your immediate area. So, yeah, I don't now really align myself with all the anarchists and I'm sorry to say, but I don't, I don't see a point in that anymore. I don't align myself with the anti-government people. You know, once I understand the laws, then I'm not going, you know, I mean, let's say, let's, here's the thing. If Facebook is being regulated by the government, if Facebook actually gets regulated by the government where you can't say or, or certain things and it's held to the same, when it comes to marketing, whatever product, whatever thing, if it's held to the same standards as the, the, the internet and your website, if you're selling something, then obviously I would change, I would just say, hey, do the J-Juice, go to my website and learn everything, if it comes down to that. Because if Facebook does come down to where the government does regulate, like they do my website as far as advertising, not so much what's in the website as far as the, the membership, but the advertising, then I would change how it is I would talk about this stuff. And then, yeah, you'd all be forced to go to my, y'all be forced to, I would do like a YouTube video. I would go back to Vimeo and do all the private videos 
and then upload them into the um, the discussion forum. And I would do it that way. I don't think we're going to go there where the government's going to go and regulate because there's so many people giving health advice all over Facebook. It would mean that every single group out there that it's a holistic group, alternative medicine group, whatever, would be then taken down. And so, you know, so I, I don't see that happening. But if that does, I already know what I, I already have things. I already know how it would work in my world. But that's not going to happen. That's not going to happen. Social media is based upon the company's terms and conditions. And so if what I'm saying is not at all violating community standards, then I'm perfectly within my right to say about my protocol what I want to say about it. Because there is a specific law and order under Facebook, but then there's advertising law and order when it comes to making claims on a website. Okay? So it's understanding the context of the laws within your community, whatever it is. And so, yes, I do believe that we should have certain types of law and order because I don't want to have Jews being genocided. I don't want to have Christians being genocided. I don't want to have black people being genocided. I don't want to have Hispanics being genocided. I don't want to have any white people being genocided. I don't want to have any Asian people being genocided because we don't agree with their skin color or their point of view or whatever. We're not trying to go back to the caveman days. So yeah, I believe government should really be there. And maybe the UN also should, you know, and I thought the UN was actually causing all these issues. No, the UN goes in and, and takes down horrible regimes. Yeah, it's full circle for me. I know, and it probably blows your head off, you guys. It totally like, you know, makes your, your head explode that I'm talking now more mainstream. But I see the value of the American government. I see the value of the USA. You can come here to America and sky's the limit. That's why everybody, everybody wants to come to America because you have so many opportunities, but you still got to live within the laws of the land. It's not a freaking anarchy free for all. Those that go and live abroad still value that, that they are an American citizen. Okay? They still, I mean, because believe me, when, when, when regimes over in other countries take a fall, guess what? They're going to come to America to get asylum if they get ostracized by the Mexican government or some other government that they're in as far as a country. All right? America isn't that bad. It really isn't. But man, I tell you what, the war drums against America by Americans are beating so loudly. And yes, I did fall into that for a minute. Believe me, I'm so sorry I did. But hey, guess what? I had psychosis back then. I can probably play the whole Alex Jones thing. Yeah, I had psychosis back then. But now I'm better. I have J-Juice. It helped me see the, the, the imbalances that I had. And now I'm like, hey, I get it now. I really do. And it's better to learn on your own why things happen the way they happen, why government happens, why FDA happens, why the CDC exists, why the EPA exists, why the president, the judicial, the legislative, all that, why they exist. I already knew from school, but then really understand, because you, know, you don't learn about the FDA in school. You don't learn about the CDC in school. You don't learn about all the things that I'm learning on the internet in school. You're just told, hey, here's this, 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 and this, and you're told to believe it, but you don't really internalize it. You're just told to believe it. And then when you see something that doesn't really, you know, jive with what you were taught, then you start seeing that, yeah, you're sick, and then that they're giving vaccines, and it's, then they say vaccines are bad and whatever, but you don't understand the science because no one taught me in school the science behind the vaccines. They just say, hey, you got to get a vaccine to be protected. And then you find out there's all these different adjuvants and all this different stuff. But then I, no one, you know, has, I mean, even over there, like when you guys are taking chemistry class, they don't make that correlation that you are surrounded by, by elements. There is no way to prevent pathogens. There's no way to prevent elements. You live in a, in a universe that has so many negative and positive elements. So what do you do personally to make sure that you keep your internal system well balanced so you're not bullying other people and going after people and trying to take them down? So you're not making you know, claims that are unsubstantiated as far as somebody, you know, doing this or that. Okay? So, you know, I've made mistakes, and, I, and I've readily admitted to them, believe me. I've made mistakes on Dr. Phil saying, oh, yeah, you know, about, about the whole thing with the homosexuals and gay stuff. I get it. I, but then I was also working under the impression that, you know, certain things needed to be as far as men and women, whatever, but then I realized that maybe we don't even know what normal is, that maybe, you know, men and women are afterthoughts. Maybe, you know, men and women are balances. And if you happen to be both, then hey, great. Maybe parthenogenesis was really what it was supposed to be back in the day. I don't know. 
So I can't claim that I know for sure what is normal. But back then, I was trying to, to, to figure out and explore everything and understand what would cause hormones to mutate and create certain things. But who's to say that maybe men and women are actually mutations from a hermaphrodite? I don't know, but we're going to see, and we get to people on J-Juice, we can see because it's strategic nutrition. So, you know, but I, through my research, I wasn't exactly diplomatic about everything. But who is? When you're going through a growth process, just like when you're in a childhood and you're a teenager, and then right now these teenagers are like, they don't get a break because they're acting out their teenager growth process on the internet. And some of them won't be able to survive their reputation because they're being so obvious, like smoking pot on the internet, like doing drugs on the internet, getting drunk on the internet. And that's there forever. So all of my growth process with J-Juice is there forever. So yes, it's a field day for Pathios Daily Mail and all the different outlets that want to go and get money for advertising. But hey, it is what it is. I will still say, hey, substantiate your claims that I hurt somebody. That's why we have due process and law and order so that we were not acting upon our emotions and upon our belief systems. It goes through the proper protocols, the proper process. Okay? So yeah, government is necessary. The FDA makes sure that if you're dealing with cures and poisons, that it's not going to decimate the population. That's why I was told to go and prove that my product was a product, that my recipe was probiotic. And believe me, it knocked everybody out of the water. It blew everybody out of the water. My protocol had, was first too numerous to count as far as the lactobacillus. And then it was 13 million colony forming units. And when you have 13 million colony forming units living in one tablespoon of salt to every two cups of water, that means that the salt was not killing anything. That means that that lactobacillus was able to survive in one tablespoon of salt to every two cups of water along with the breakdown of the cabbage and the kale. So if the lactobacillus can survive in my recipe, then, most, then my God, yes, a human who is alive can survive, not even survive, can actually thrive with jelly juice. But no, we have people who have a belief system and ignorance seems to trump um, education and since education is so freaking expensive and grade school and high school is nothing more than taking tests we're not going to turn out educated people we're going to turn out hormonally driven people who are highly mutated who don't know how to research couldn't even even crack open a book if it was given to them and then we have people acting on their emotions so yeah we need government oh we need government we need more government now than ever and I'm all for it I want more government because we have more mutated people. And I experienced that today with Pathios. She, that girl, Katie Joy, is the reason why we have government. She is exactly the reason why we have government. And I thank God that I have a government because they are the ones that made me prove that my juice was a probiotic. They actually kept me from, from being in trouble. Okay? So I love my government. They saved my ass. So I have nothing bad to say about my government. Nothing. All right. And I will never demonize my government ever again because they forced me to really prove why this juice works. Just because you don't believe it doesn't mean that it's not true. Okay. But that's why I want the government to be around because they are the ones that will then put out the law and order, the due process, and make sure we go through the proper channels to substantiate our claims. And I completely understand that. And so, yes, I will never, ever speak ill of the government. So this is for the people that I did post my YouTube video about Dr. CB and why it is that the government came down on Dr. CB's ass because he was making claims with antibiotics. Okay? And so, you know, some people are like, oh, yeah, they're trying to hide. They're, it's, it's, it's some colluding with big pharma no they know that big pharma uses poison they know it it's freaking obvious you see all the side effects and all the drugs you can't be any more clear than that but if it's fda approved it means it's gone through the proper double blind studies to say that okay even though it's poisonous it's not going to decimate the population but here are the possible side effects should your body adapt or should you then reap the negative consequences of taking this poison Okay, I mean, 
all the drugs out there are cures. All the drugs out there are cures. Hey, Gail. Okay? But not all cures are meant for everybody. There are some cures that some people cannot do. And Bruce Wilmot, who was in hospice, could not qualify for any more, any more cures on the market. So when you're in hospice, it means that you can't afford any more antibody acquisition. And everything in biotech is about antibody acquisition or about manipulating your hormones or about taking out body parts and organs, okay, to where then you adapt to it, have some kind of quality of life, but in the end, you still die. And they know it. That's why they have to regulate it. And if you are working with cabbage, obviously it's not going to be FDA regulated when you're dealing with cabbage or probiotic. Okay, so when I went through that whole substantiation a year ago, that's exactly what they were shooting for. They wanted to know from they wanted me to prove that my product, my recipe was a probiotic because they know that probiotic is a live bacteria. It's a good bacteria for the human body. It is a friendly bacteria for the human body. So if lactobacillus can't live in the amount of salt that was in my juice, then obviously it, was, it would be antibiotic. But no, lactobacillus were so numerous that obviously they were thriving in the salt that was in my juice. No different than the freaking ocean that is thriving with life out there. So anyone's claims that J-juice or any inference that J-juice is antibiotic does not understand science. And go download that report from the OAG that I submitted. And that independent test lab, that food lab that tested my juice gave them the findings, 13 million colony forming units. So if, if the lactobacillus can live in that amount of salt, then obviously you can live with that amount of salt and just drink water when you're thirsty. Okay? So I am vindicated, and yes, Katie Joy from Pathios should be shitting in her pants trying to get support from her crowd because she knows that she's on the side of wrong. Oh, yeah, I was just saying that she was trying to say that BuzzFeed was the one that, yeah, okay, BuzzFeed was the one that opened it up, but then she had to go and parrot it. When someone says something that's wrong and inference something that's wrong, doesn't mean that you go and repeat it. Okay? You know, I'm not going to repeat rumors about somebody unless I'm looking to go and bully them. We have a lot of people that do that. They, they'll go and, 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 and repeat hearsay, repeat rumors. So she's no different than what Alex Jones was doing about the Newtown. Somebody created a story about Newtown, said it was a false flag, this and that. It was the government trying to take your guns and all this stuff. And then he took and ran with it and created a whole platform that made him a lot of money and ended up in somebody's death because that person, that guy, was then bullied relentlessly by all of Alex Jones's people. No different than what Pathios is doing against me. And now she's running scared, and that's why she did that article. But we're seeing a change and a tune in our society. So if Alex Jones gets, gets convicted for manslaughter, you know, then what else? And then if, if, if Monsanto, which he already did, is having to pay $81 million because somebody brought to the table already mutations, and then his product, their product, happened to have negative elements that already had a warning label on it, and then we're going to then see the unvaccinated or the vaccinated that breaks our quarantine be held liable for passing along mutated pathogens. And then we're going to see somebody that writes articles that are unsubstantiated defaming and slandering somebody. Oh, yeah, it, it's, 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 we're paving the way for, you know, for responsible journalism, for all this conspiracy stuff that's unsubstantiated. The Internet is like the wild, wild west. Social media is like the wild, wild west, and there has to be some kind of law and order with the internet. There has to be. And when you're making claims, and if I'm held accountable for making claims, if I'm held accountable for making claims that are unsubstantiated, so should Katie Joy. So should every article that's inferencing something that is not true and is not based upon science. They should be held accountable too. And that's what government is there for, is to hold accountable those that are being vigilantes, whether it's through their the written word journalism or through a physical a physical action we don't want vigilantism because we have too many people that are mutated that don't like each other and if they have the license to act upon it they will if they think that they're not going to get held responsible for shooting or doing this or doing that they will do what they what they do
But the reason why people don't do that right now in our society is because they don't want to reap the negative consequences of going to jail and then being an experiment for biotech. Because yeah, the, 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 um, the inmates are experiments for biotech. So yeah, the government's there for a reason. And that's why I'm not anti-government anymore. Have a good day. Go to juliejuice.com, get the book. Get law and order in your body. J-I-L-L-Y-G-U-I-C-E dot com. Bye.